After months and months of shortages, issues, and emergency interim filters, there is light at the end of the tunnel in talking about Subaru oil filters. So guys, for years and years, Subaru of America was giving us these little blue oil filters right here. There's been two different variations, a longer, taller one and a shorter, stubbier one for most all of the naturally aspirated engines. Now, this is after Subaru changed their original manufacturer, which was Purolator, back around the mid to late 90s and moved to this blue Honeywell slash Fram made filter. And as I've talked about in many, many videos in the past, this is a subpar filter in my opinion, and I do not run it on my cars nor on my customer cars, but this is the only option we had for many, many years if you went to your Subaru dealership, went to the parts department, and asked for an oil filter. Well, not so long ago, due to shortages and the way the world has been for the last three years or so, Subaru could not source those oil filters. They were not able to get them. And for the last, I don't know, six to eight months, if I recall correctly, we've had these generic blue, non-labeled, non-branded oil filters coming into Subaru dealerships. Now, as far as we looked, the construction was mildly better when tearing these apart compared to the previous blue filters, but these were still kind of junky in their own regard. And there was lots of issues with leakage from the seal on these oil filters compared to the older design or compared to the better alternative, which I've talked about extensively as well, which is the black Japanese Tokyo Roki filters, which I have right here, which is a part number ending in AA160. I import these in bulk from Japan and run them on all of my cars and all of my customer cars. Now this one is specifically for the F-Series engines. There is an AA100 that is for the older EJ series engines. And for those of you that have uh, newer WRX or an 8.6, either an EZ30 or EZ36, you know that when you go to the dealer, you get a black Tokyo rookie filter. Anyway, only the four cylinder naturally aspirated cars and some of the 2.5 EJ series engines got the blue can of death as I like to call it rather than the black Japanese made filter. Now, also, as we talked about in the past regarding these filters, it's a little bit difficult to get them because like I said, you have to import them from Japan, but there is a domestic alternative if you have a Mazda dealership nearby, which comes in the form of this Mazda N3R1-14302 Tokyo Roki oil filter off of a Mazda RX-8. As you can see, they're basically the same filter. We've cut them apart, dissected them in videos in the past, and it is the exact same filter from the exact same manufacturer in Japan. Just one is branded as Mazda and one is branded as Subaru. So if you want a domestic, easy to get Japanese filter instead of the blue filters, I was recommending these filters over these due to having to import them. Well, now, finally, all this time later, our prayers have been answered and Subaru just last week put out an announcement saying that there will be a new rollout of new oil filters for Subaru vehicles. And that catches us up to now with the brand new released black Tokyo Roki made filter that will be replacing the blue emergency filters and the blue USA made filters in Subaru dealerships in the USA. And this is the new AA20A oil filter and the new AA100 oil filter. Although I don't believe that the 100 is a new filter as Tokyo Roki always offered a 100 filter for the older EJ series engine, which is the shorter version of this filter. Now I have one of those from Japan, but I don't have my hands on the brand new 100 as it's not supposed to release until September to Subaru dealers in the United States. So that's now it, right? End of story. We finally have a black Tokyo Roki Subaru oil filter in the United States. We don't have to import them from Japan anymore. We don't have to go to the Mazda dealership and buy an RX-8 filter anymore, right? Well, there's one little piece of information that's different. You see right here, one, the part number is different, but two, it says made in Indonesia, not made in Japan. As we know before, all the black Tokyo Roki filters have been manufactured in Japan. The new filter clearly says made in Indonesia. Now, this is purely speculation, but I assume the issue here is that the Japanese manufacturing plant doesn't have the capabilities to manufacture and produce oil filters for Japan 
the global market and now North America. So they had to open or create or just build a second or make a larger manufacturing facility in Indonesia for the increased demand. Now, with that said, it's still a Tokyo Roki filter. It's just made in a different country. Will the internals be the same as the Japanese filter? Well, let's go ahead and get on the toolbox top, take our oil filter cutter, cut open this brand new filter, and see how the internals compare to the Japanese 160 filter. So guys, here up on the bench, we have the new Indonesia filter and the old Japan filter. This one's brand new, cut open. We'll use that to look at the internals. And this is the new Indonesia filter. Uh, as we've seen before in the past with Tokyo Roki filters, we've got this little plastic uh, covering on the end of the filter, which, uh, you know, we talked about the counterfeit filters online and the ways to tell the difference in them uh, about the fact that the label is printed on the box rather than a sticker and the fact that the uh, lid is glued with these little dots of glue rather than streams of glue. Well, the new filter is a little bit different. Yes, this is still printed on not a sticker, but we have a flap enclosure box rather than a glued box. Now, this is the 100 filter that I have and uh, same kind of closure on it. They did mention a 100 filter in the bulletin they put out, but it is not available yet. This is one I imported from Japan uh, months and months ago, part of old stock. Uh, so we will not know what that uh, new 100 will look like, whether it will be this imported Japanese filter or if it will be a uh, identical filter, but made in the Indonesia plant like this filter. So another point of notoriety in that bulletin, a case of these new 28 oil filters will no longer be a 12 count. It will now be a 50 count per case. So uh, if you buy a case of these oil filters, I hope you work on Subarus or just drive a ton and are planning on changing lots and lots of oil. So without further ado, let's go ahead and cut open the Indonesian replacement filter from Tokyo Roki and see how it compares to the Japanese filter. So checking out our top plate, we see the same spacing, same number of holes. The Indonesian filter has an M and the Japanese filter has an O or a zero marking. Uh, looking at the gasket, looks like the gasket is a bit thicker on the Indonesian filter compared to the Japanese filter. Other than that, they look pretty much identical. We see the same anti-drain back valve. Uh, the Indonesian one is a little bit bigger around than the Japanese one, and it does feel a little bit more flimsy than the Japanese one. There's a little bit thicker uh, material to the Japanese filter's anti-drain back valve. Now let's look at the filtration cartridge where it really matters. So the cartridge is slightly shorter on the Indonesian filter compared to the Japanese filter. And it is just slightly smaller diameter. So the filter cartridge itself is different in its construction. As we see, there's less holes on the Indonesian filter than the Japanese filter. So on the Indonesian filter here on my left, we see a spiraled bead rolled type interior construction, whereas the Japanese filter has one straight up and down seam in it. Uh, overall, slight differences. Still got our bypass valve in the bottom of the filter. Quick check with the thumb, non-scientific here. It feels about the same spring pressure for both. So we are getting a slightly smaller filter in the Indonesia filter than the Japanese filter. As far as our cases go, I would assume they're about the same thickness, same gauge of metal, just from, uh, again, non-scientific measurements here. We do see that the spring in the bottom of the canister is different in the Japanese and Indonesian filter. We've got kind of a flat, uh, stamped spring in the Japanese filter, and the Indonesian filter has a coiled spring with a flat bottom on it. So these are not identical filters. It's not that they are making the original Japanese filter in Indonesia to the same specifications. This is a completely different filter inside and out than the Japanese filter. Is this a bad filter? I do not believe so but it does feel like the Japanese filter still is a superior filter 
just based on materials and build quality. So will I keep importing these Japanese filters? I'll have to do a cost analysis on the price of bulk ordering these Japanese filters with shipping from Japan compared to picking these up at the local Subaru dealership or online places like SubaruPartsDeals.com. Uh, but the pricing will be the main factor. If the Japanese filter is the same price or less, I will stick with the Japanese filter. As I said, I think it's a better part but I would not hesitate to throw this on a customer car or my own car compared to the old blue filters. So guys, there you have it. There is a look at the brand new Tokyo Roki US market filter made in Indonesia compared to the Japanese model. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you all in the next one.